at the moment we are fetching the news based on user input so as the user types in we are fetching news on each keystroke we are making a lot of api request okay so in this lesson let's learn how we can change this behavior so instead of running this use effect on search query we want to wait for the user to hit this button okay so first of all let's uh, come back to this form and we're going to implement on submit method okay so on submit we want to execute a certain method let's call it handle submit okay so when the form is submit we will execute this method handle submit okay so let's come here write this const handle submit okay first of all we want to prevent the default behavior so the page is not reload so prevent default okay and then what we can do is we can set the url the entire url instead so what we can do is we can add one more state here so const url set url okay so use state and we give the default url that will be this one okay query equals to we can call it react okay so this is the default url so by default we're going to use this url to fetch the news however when the user types something in in this source form and hit that button then this method will execute and this method will set the url and this time it's going to be different based on whatever the source query is okay so here what we can do is we can use this method set url right and we're going to set the url based on the user input right so again we can copy this okay and instead here it's going to be url so when the fetch news runs when the component mounts the url used is this one the default url however when user types something in the input field and hit submit button then we're going to change that url okay here so when the form is submitted when the button is clicked then it will set the url based on the query will be based on the user input okay search query now with this change of course we have to come back here run the effect based on search query instead we're going to run the effect based on the url okay so url will change only when the button is clicked okay so as the user types in this method will not run because it waits for the url to change and url will change only when the button is clicked until then only the source query will change okay so that will be here in the state we grab that put it here but we don't submit it yet only when the button is clicked then the url is submitted based on the user query here okay so save this file we should be good to give it a try now let's try php now as a type nothing happens okay because use effect is not running hit search then it fetches all the news based on php but until i hit search nothing happens okay so same with this same with redux you can even hit enter by the way you can see it works but as you type nothing happens on until you hit enter or hit the button okay so that is beautiful right you saw how you could control the use effect previously you controlled in a way that it ran whenever there was a change in source query but now you control and it runs only when the url is changed so let's continue let's see how we can enhance this application even further maybe you want to show a loading indicator when it's loading you can show the loading and when the data is there obviously you will display the data okay so let's continue that in the next lesson thank you